everybody's been working for over five years to get to this point. And we're preparing to lift Dome 1. So we can finally put the lid on and close this reactor up. And we have to land it with millimetre precision. We've got to have really calm conditions. We can't have any gusts. There's no margin for error. Tonight is the kind of the pinnacle of the last year for us. Everybody's excited. I pushed my holiday back just to see it. Everyone across the project has contributed a huge amount to this moment. I'm Stacey and my team are responsible for ensuring the steel is ready and the lid to go on. There's an immense amount of steel in Unit 1 and we have been building those elements ready to go in to get poured with the concrete ready for dome lift at the end of the year. I'm Claire, I'm part of the team that was responsible for bringing the reactor to site. Dome lift means that it can be moved into its final position. I'm Liv and I helped get the reactor support ring into this building behind me. It was a great relief getting that into place successfully because we're working to such minute tolerances. I'm Matt and I'm part of the team delivering dome lift this year. To make dome lift achievable there's been so much work we've had to do. So we had to install the equipment hatch which is a door that sits over the huge opening behind me. The door itself is 50 tonne which is physically impossible to get that into the building after dome lift. My name is Lucky, I'm the main control room lead and we are currently in what will be the main control room which has been lifted into place to enable dome lift. We spend a lot of time in the main control room simulator so to actually come into the real building it makes it all a little bit more real. I'm Lauren, I'm one of 1200 apprentices here on site. You see walls going up and you think oh yeah we're making progress and then it's when you get these big milestones and you think we're actually building a nuclear power plant. I'm Brendan and I do welding for Hinkley Point C in a factory in North Wales. It's great up here, we're growing and there's plenty of people here and it's great for North Wales. I'm Andy, I'm part of the team that got the polar crane into Unit 1. The polar crane was lifted in one piece and it's going to be used for building the reactor building, maintenance and fuel handling. I'm Di, my team, we're responsible for all the pipework inside the dome. It had to be bang on, there's no room for error. I'm Phil, I'm part of the team that got the dome ready to be lifted. We've been building to dome lift now for pretty much the entirety of this project. And once the dome's on, it unlocks an enormous amount of work. It allows us to get to work on critical systems that we otherwise couldn't if the building wasn't more tight. It keeps the project moving. We've had the go, no go meeting. Uh, we've now been given a green light to lift the dome. It's a massive sense of pride, relief. Everybody involved, ultra professional, got the job done like it was easy. <laughs> For us all, it was like an amazing thing to see at the end of the year. It makes me feel proud to work here and what we're trying to achieve. It looks so different now with the dome on top. When everyone pulls towards a common goal, we can do th amazing things. We've capped the air off absolutely perfectly. Great sense of achievement. The next day, back to it, ready to go for the rest of the job. 